Langflow is a graphical user interface for Langchain. It provides a drag and drop interface to prototype flows and test them using a chat box. Langflow can be installed locally using PIP. You can run it on your machine or test it online on Hugging Face without any installation. To open Langflow online, you can use the provided link on the GitHub page here. After clicking the link, Langflow opens on Hugging Face and is ready to go. On the left side, you can explore Langchain components like agents, chains, embeddings, and LLMs, and so on. To use a component, simply drag it to the canvas and adjust the size. You can increase the size, configure components, and adding new tabs to create additional flows. If you prefer dark mode, you can switch to dark mode and continue using Langflow online. But in this video, we want to install Langflow locally. To run Langflow on your machine, you need Python, Node.js, and Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. First, go to your project folder, if you have any, and create a new folder like uh, Langflow. Change to the new folder, and uh, from here, before installing Langflow, let's uh, check the requirements. For Python on a Mac, type uh, Python 3 dash dash version. And for Node.js, type Node dash dash version. Next step is to create a virtual environment for our uh, Python packages. On Mac, type Python 3 dash M VNV and the name of your virtual environment, in my case, a Langflow. You can name your virtual environment as you like. Next, uh, we activate the virtual environment using source, a Langflow, then bin, and activate. The name of the virtual environment appears before our prompt. So we are ready to install the packages. And uh, to install the packages, we type pip install langflow and hit enter. Depending on the speed of your machine, it will take some time to install all of the required packages and dependencies. We wait till all of the packages are installed and we get back our prompt. After the installation is finished, it's time to start langflow and create some flows locally. Simply type Langflow in the common prompt and hit enter. Langflow will start and run on local host with the port 7860. Open the link in your browser. Please note Langflow is optimized for Chromium. You can start creating a flow from scratch or import some flows. To import, click on the import button and here you have two options. You can import your saved flows or open some examples. After clicking on the examples button, we have some examples to choose from and we choose one of the simple one, basic chat with prompt and history. And it opens in our canvas. We can move the canvas by pressing the space bar and dragging. After we put it in the right position, we can adjust each of the components. You can move each component by dragging the header. And in this case, uh, we have a four components, chat open AI, prompt template, and conversation buffer memory, and they are connected to LLM chain. You may have noticed that conversation buffer memory and prompt template have uh, green dots in their header, but chat open AI and LLM chain have red dots in their header. That means we have to, to, we have to do some more configuration. If we turn to dark mode, it is better visible. And you see the two green dots and the two red dots in the headers of the four components. For the chat open AI, we need an API key. So we turn over to open, uh, platform openai.com accounts API keys 
and create a new secret key. We can give it an optional name. Here I give it Langflow and create a secret key. We copy the key and close the pop-up. Going back to our Langflow, now we can uh, put the key in OpenAI key. Uh, notice that the dot is still red, but after placing the OpenAI key in the right position and uh, save it, we see that the dot is now green. And that means it is now configured. We can change the temperature to 0.3 to be more deterministic. And now uh, we can see that all of the four dots are green and we are ready to go to test our flow. To test the flow, we uh, open the chat box with, uh, with this blue button. And here uh, the chat box opened and we can uh, put our first question. For the first question, we, uh, we ask, where is the Eiffel Tower located? It needs some time to answer the question. And sure enough, the Eiffel Tower is located in Paris, France, with some more information. We can put our second question. And uh, this time, we refer to Eiffel Tower as it. So how tall is it? As we have the memory uh, component in our flow, uh, OpenAI can easily answer the question and it's uh, 324 meters. We clear it and come back to our flow. And here we see the memory is optional, so we can remove it. After removing the memory component, we can test our flow again. And uh, we put the same question in our uh, prompt and ask OpenAI about uh, where is the Eiffel Tower located. And this time we get an error because our prompt is, uh, has a variable history which is not provided anymore. So we go to our prompt template and open it and see we have here a variable history which we have to remove. And after removing it, we can check and save and uh, now is the prompt is ready and we can uh, check our flow again. This time we can ask again how uh, tall is the Eiffel Tower? And uh, sure enough, uh, it is uh, the same at 324 meters tall. But for uh, our second question, if uh, we ask where is it located, this time OpenAI has, uh, the prob uh, has a problem to answer this question because uh, it doesn't know what we are referring to. And it says, I'm sorry, could you please provide more context? What are you referring to? And this shows how important memory is if we wanted to have a uh, chat conversation. In the background, you can see the conversation between Langflow and the OpenAI in the terminal. This gives sometimes useful uh, debug information for our development. So this was a brief overview of Langflow. Definitely give it a try. It uh, helps uh, prototyping uh, AI-based application.